what's going on beautiful jellyfish is Tracy and today I'm going to be doing a video and like I don't really know what this is kind of going to be about like I was really trying to like frame how I was talking about this video as I was jotting these notes down but it was really hard but like as I was coming across um I have all my like magic like video ideas in this notebook here and a lot of times I I, I know like I could list to you without even looking at this notebook like videos I want to film but sometimes there's ideas that like kind of fall by the wayside that like I forget that I write down that I'm like that's such a cool idea and this was one of them and it's kind of like on how I deck build like how I view deck building in modern and what I have to say I'm really talking about is I'm pretty much gonna only talk about control in this video I think it'd be kind of a lot um, I am in the process of like kind of building, you know, other decks. There's not priorities at all. So I made you a separate video on like how I approach those decks, but this is really specifically talking about like control. What I think is really cool is a lot of times people view modern as yes, an eternal format, but the thing that's kind of cool about control is that it evolves a lot of times and people like test out different things. So I'm probably going to do this video for how I deck build for EDH because that is they're two completely totally different formats so obviously like my deck building process looks very different but these are just five things that I wrote down that I thought would just be like a really cool thing. Okay so the first thing I would say is um, how I kind of go about the deck build is I want the build to be consistent and that's one thing I've always really liked about controls I feel like it's very reliable and very consistent it has a very particular game plan my game plan is I'm trying to stop you the aggressive deck or the whatever deck and I'm trying to take control of the board that sounds really straightforward but not all control decks do that even though they say that they're trying to like do other things so um one thing I would say about like decks being like a deck that I think is inconsistent is a deck like Amulet Titan. Um, a lot of people really love this deck. I really love this deck. Um, but I don't love that deck because I think it's like a wholeheartedly inconsistent deck. Like after the banning of Summer Bloom, the deck has just gotten less consistent. And so I prefer decks to be on the more consistent side. Um, which kind of sort of lends itself into the second point, which is that I don't like decks that have things like dead draws or cards that you top deck on turn 12 and it's bad like ornithopter like everyone and i tweeted about this like a couple months ago how people always sympathize with decks like oh affinity like i'm so sorry that like on turn 12 your top decks suck why are you sympathizing with them they are choosing to play a deck that's trying to kill you on turn four yeah duh their top decks are going to be terrible in late stages of the game that's the point of the deck is they're not going to be good because you don't care about the late stages of the game because you're trying to win on turn four like i don't get why people sympathize and like don't sympathize with them that's the deck they're playing so i prefer cards that um, aren't really dead draws. Now a really popular control card that I myself do not like is Ancestral Visions. When this card came out, when, or when it got un unbanned, right? It was, it was banned and then it got unbanned. Everyone and their mother was like, this is gonna be amazing. And I was like, I don't like this card. And I still probably will just never buy this card. I don't like it. And here's why, is everyone says, well Tracy, if you have this card in the first turn, it is so good. You're right, I do agree with you. Late stages of the game drawing cards. However, first off, Modern is like hella fast right now. The format is going like by nuts crazy fast. Second off, if I top deck this card on turn 15, do you think I'm in a good spot? Nah, bro, not at all. This is why I don't like this kind of card. It's because it's really bad in late stages of the game and I will not play with cards like this. Now, a lot of people think that's wrong. You could think whatever you want, but in my opinion, there's really no right way to build a control deck. And that's one reason why I really just like control. So what I'm really kind of getting at with deck building is, I mean, I guess you could do bad things, but like there's other ways to approach it. Uh, okay, the third point is to how I build is I have a solid way that I want to win the game. So the thing that's kind of cool about control is that so many of your cards stop your opponent and then little cards progress your board. So like a lot of times people will be like, how do you win? And I'm like, how don't I win? And then I list a couple of ways that I can kill my opponent. Um, so the thing with this is, and I feel like this is less often to happen in modern versus something like EDH, but like have a consistent game plan, like have a plan of like, this is how I'm going to kill my opponent in this deck. And yes, there can be like multiple things, but like, you're not trying to like, 
I, I don't know if I can like really explain if I can, like, I'm trying to explain this as best as I can. Like, you're not trying to kill someone with, like, regular damage or infect damage. Like, you're just trying to win off of, like, regular damage. So it's like, I guess just having, like, one clear way that you're killing your opponent in your head. Do that and focus on that and don't try to be like, well, what if I throw in this random infect card? Like, what? Like, no. Like, stick to the game plan. Stick to this one plan of how you're going to win and just go with it. Okay, this is like a really important thing, um, is view the game in three stages. The first stage is the early game. The second stage is like the mid game, and this kind of like blends into the late game. So as a control player, how I kind of envision a lot of games going is I'm playing against some aggressive opponent, I have some cheap removal, we get to turn four, I cast Supreme Verdict, they have like one card in their hand, sucks to be them, um, so that is like the early game, then I cast that, now we're in the mid game, they're attempting to rebuild, lol, they're not going to, and I start to, you know, continuously remove their stuff, get to late stages and kill them with whatever. So that's kind of like the ideal scenario, right, that's like every control player like wants to have that happen, pretty much. So what's really important about this is that some people cannot focus on one stage or have so many of their cards only doing one stage. I typically see this a lot with like things like the late game, so people are like, hey, how do you win as a control player, and you're like, Oh, like this card that costs like six mana and I'm like cool but what about before that like how are you gonna get to six turns or whatever how many turns after that like you have to focus on your early game and like cheap removal and cheap interaction and like things that you're gonna do to like stop your opponent because if you can't do that they're gonna kill you and your six mana card doesn't matter so I think it's really important to view the game in those three stages and think what cards do I have for each section of the game and making sure you're late game you have cards that are like that because I think that's like an issue is sometimes people who deck build they don't put enough cards in their their uh, late game and then it's like you fall short and then like you know your opponent has the opportunity to rebuild in a matchup like Tron for example and you're left like I have nothing because all my room all I have all these removal cards or whatever or like redraw like whatever it is and you're like I can't kill them and it really sucks so just think of the the, st the uh, game in like those stages and have enough cards that fit in those three different categories so that you always have something to do Okay, and the last point that I kind of mentioned at the beginning of the video is uh, really just test cards out. Like, you know, control is honestly just ever-changing. Like, it's really just not a stagnant thing. Um, control now looks different than control a year ago. Like, there's just different cards that go into it. And one advice that I really kind of got that I think I've shared with you guys before is that, like, you know, a lot of times cards that you get for control, like they may be really good at that moment, but a month from now they're not going to be good. So I always think it's really important to like test things out and be like, hey, I'm not like totally sure about this. And I wasn't really going to mention this, but I just kind of like popped into my head. Um, I haven't mentioned anything about the Pro Tour that happened recently. Um, and I checked out the list and there were like two blue white controllers in the top eight, which you guys know I'm like, assuming we know. I'm very excited about that. Um, but they're doing, that build is like very, is, is so cool. It's so different. You know, you're doing things with like Jace the Mind Sculptor and Terminus, and that's kind of like the new way that Control looks. But what I would kind of say is I look at that and I'm just like, I'm not like a huge fan of like that deck building style. I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of like those cards and like all that kind of stuff. So I think it's really important to like do your own thing because like it's really hard to like, you can like copy and paste like a deck list, but like you know like a net deck a deck list and like it just may not be good like the following week like blue light control may be really good but your version of it isn't good like the version i played in like vegas i didn't think was as good but i still like things like restoration angel that's a really great card i just didn't think for that particular tournament where that placing is um it wasn't as good so like i would still hang on to like those cards but i would definitely change those out to like other things that fit the meta so i would say always really just change your deck list because it's something i do and i think that's like a really important thing that gets overlooked a lot so guys that is it i hope this i feel like these are just random things but i hope like this was kind of helpful in talking about how i go about like deck building in um in modern in particular um but like i said i do want to do this for edh because i think there's some really cool things to say about that uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this video, and I will see you guys later.